The cutting of the ribbon to the American Isle, a small location but with greater significance in commemoration of America's 237th independent celebrations on the 4th of July. With demand for American products increasing, Garamut Enterprise through its supermarkets has greatly increased the number of products, an initiative greatly welcomed by Ambassador North. So I really commend uh, the team here for recognizing that, yeah, the U.S. is competitive cost-wise. It's got a quality product that can meet the needs of the local people here. There's optimism from the United States that the availability of American products throughout the country will continue to increase as a result of the recently launched U.S. PNG bilateral trade talks. The first ever trade dialogue was introduced on the last day of May, a first step towards enhancing trade between both countries. Issues being deliberated on include sanitary and phytosanitary regulations, customs procedures, trade preferences under the generalized system of preferences, and intellectual property rights. Coffee is currently America's number one exported product from Papua New Guinea, and if trade discussions go well, opportunities will open for other agricultural products. We already buy a lot of coffee, for example, which is a food product, but I think there are other, other things that could be traded. Meanwhile, the American products in the two supermarkets will be on display for the whole month of July. For a start, it's just food products, and the extension of this exercise will depend on customer demand. We've got everything on display, and it's reasonably priced. Festus Meigenup, National MTV News.